After about, you know, two years of waiting, finally, in the year 2021, we have the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween Kills mask. Now, for people who weren't aware, both the movie and this mask was delayed because of a little thing called COVID. So, you know, it's been a long wait. Lots of rumors, leaks, fan creations. Most of them look bad, but, you know, whatever. That's how it goes. But finally, we have this mask. And unlike the 2018, you can actually go into a store and find this. I know when the 2018 mask came out, people were having trouble actually finding it in stores. But when I went to my local Spirit Halloween, this was literally the only Michael Myers mask they had. They had about, I don't know, 10 copies of this. And I went out and tried to find the best one because this is a little thing I want to talk about real quick. I know other people have spoke about it, but with Trick or Treat Studios... You're getting a great sculpt, but since it's mass produced, sometimes the paint job can be lacking. I like to say I got a good copy. I went through like the dozen whatever masks that they had at Spirit Halloween, and I uh, picked out the best one. So th that's just true for any mass produced mask, but it seems like Trick or Treat Studios, people are really pissed off because they sell their mask for about 60 to 70 bucks. This was 70 bucks. I used a 20% coupon. I got it for 50 and uh, if you heard a noise, I'm not sure if it's actually... Never mind. I don't know. Something's going on. Anyways, what I was saying was people are complaining for the price point. They're saying all the paint jobs should be perfect. I don't think what people realize is that you can't perfectly replicate a mask when you're like on an assembly line just making mask after mask after mask. You can't have an artist spend as much time as like an independent artist because they, I mean, there's probably hundreds, maybe even thousands of these masks in a factory. So, of course, it's not going to look perfect. But one thing I wish Trick or Treat Studios would stop doing is having, like, a perfect uh, artist rendering, uh, I guess I would say, on their website to advertise the mask. And uh, for the uh, Halloween Kills mask right here, they said they just pulled a mask out of the box since the movie was delayed. They had, like, a bunch of these in the box. They said they just pulled it out styled the hair i don't i don't know if i can believe that i don't know if it's just lighting or maybe they just went in and touched up the paint but it seems like a lot of these masks the uh burn sign bird side burn sign i can't speak the <laughs> the burned side of the mask seems for whatever reason to have a lot of this yellow and not like a subtle like brownish yellow like what's on the actual screen you use masks. like a lot of them seem to be like marshmallow burned I don't know really how to describe it, but the one on their website was way more subtle. So I don't, like I said, I don't know if it's a coloring thing. Like they just went in and maybe did some photo edits or painted the mask themselves, but I don't know. But like I said, let's talk about the mask. We talked about the history of it, whatever. This is pretty damn good. The sculpt itself actually comes from the screen used mold. So what you see in the movie, that sculpt is what's being used for right here, which I want to say like 10 years ago even, that would have been crazy. The fact that we're no longer getting those shitty Don Post Studios masks anymore. We're actually getting like works of art. Like I said, even if you're not satisfied with the paint job, you can always easily rehaul it yourself or uh, have someone else do it for you. So uh, anyways, let's take a look at the mask. Let's take a look at this side. Right here we have the uh, bullet wound from the 2018 movie. Though, in the 2018 movie... It's much larger. And this isn't a Trick or Treat Studios issue. Like I said, it's a screen use. They actually just retconned, I guess is the right term. They retconned the bolt hole to be a bit further up. But that's fine. Uh, on the screen use mask, from or at least what I can see from the trailers, of course the movie's not out yet, uh, it looks a bit more wet, or at least dried. It kind of has that orange-brown orange, orange brown look. But uh, I don't know, something about the fresh blood looks so well, because usually when a mask that's mass produced adds blood, it is always like shit. <laughs> they never do it right, but this one's actually really, really decently done. Uh, I can see how some people might think it's a bit too smooth uh, on this side, on the non-burn side, but uh, again, like I said, you can repaint it. I think it looks fine. I think it looks what it's trying to do and honestly i think this side looks better than what any of the 2018s looked stuck uh of course i'll show pictures of the mask i'm talking about but like 
the 2018 mask looked a lot very yellow and there's a lot of grays that I feel like weren't there on the screen used mask. But it feels like Trick or Treat Studios kind of knew what the hell they were doing and decided to, you know, actually do it good. <laughs> now let's take it to Bernstein. Obviously, it is not perfect. Again, I don't really like the yellow. I wish it was more of a brownish yellow. But like I said, since this is screen used, all the little marks are there that are supposed to be there. Uh, there's some blood added right here, which again, I don't know if that's screen use, or I guess screen accurate is the word I'm looking for. But I say it looks nice. It looks nice. Uh, we got some right here. Got some more of that yellow discoloration right here. I feel like it's probably the worst part of the mask. I don't know why the lips seems to uh, always mess up right there. It's always like very black, though it should be more subtle. Again, I am happy to have the copy that uh, that I do right now. Because a lot of them... You know how I complain about that little black spludge right there? Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, a lot of them carry on into like a, like a crow or joker smile. And honestly, it kind of throws off the mask. But, like I said, I tried to pick the best copy. Now, like I said, lots of people are going to have these recalled. Like most Trick or Treat Studios masks. So, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it. I'm honestly dissatisfied with it right now. Like I said, there was little tiny bit, tiny issues, I guess, that I have with it. Let me, we can actually see it better. There were tiny, tiny issues that I had with the mask. and uh, But I feel like overall, they did a pretty damn good job. Probably one of their best paint jobs in uh, recent years. Uh which is funny because I feel like in, in comparison to the 2018 mask, there's a lot more wrong you can do here. Like I said, the burns are iffy on this mask, but I feel like mine is decent. Decent. Now, if there is one complaint, one like big complaint, I should say, with this mask and most Trick or Treat Studios Michael Myers mask is the hair. Because like they either cut it too short, like they did here. I feel like the hair is way too short for the 2018. And they also just not, they don't put enough hair. Now, hold on, let me fix it. Now, overall, I feel like the hair is decent on my copy. But I've seen some copies where the hair is just fucking atrocious. So I don't know what is up. Like, I've known Don Post Studios mask that had better hair. Yeah, I said that. I don't know what's going on. The hair factory at True Treat Studios, but I feel like they really need to improve. Again, you can always have it rehaired, but if you're spending $70 on a mask, which isn't a lot, but for some people, for a piece of rubber that could rot in a couple years, you want good hair. Now, see, this is the non burn side. That was my complaint, but for the burn side, holy shit, am I impressed. See, when they announced that obviously they were doing a Halloween Kills mask, I didn't stop to think, how are they going to do the burned hair? Because, I mean, it's a mask that got caught on fire. Obviously, it's going to be burned. But, again, looking at it, I do not know what the hell they use. But it looks really good and it feels crispy. Like, let me put it back there. I don't know if you can see it. But uh mask isn't perfectly straight. Whatever. Like, one side is, of course, poofy. And the other side, it's almost flat. They used, uh, um, maybe they just doused in liquid latex. Maybe that's how they got it to harden. Again, I know nothing about herring mask, let alone herring a burned mask or whatever you want to call it. But uh, honestly, it's pretty damn good. I just wish it was on the same quality as the non-burned side. But I feel like overall, if we're just going to look at it as is, it's decent. I feel like the uh, the burn side, for the hair at least, is a lot better over here. Which is, that's kind of funny. This side, the actual mask part, pretty damn good. This side could use improvement, and it's the opposite for the hair. So I don't, I don't know what is happening at the Trick or Treat Studios factory. But I feel like for two years, we've been waiting on this mask in this movie. And I want to say overall, Trick or Treat Studios, they delivered. It is a damn good mask, and for 70 bucks, or at least the 50, 60 bucks I paid at Spirit Halloween, you can't go wrong. Uh, these should be available at your Spirit Halloweens, your party cities, if they ever fucking put out their Halloween stuff. I know sometimes they take a while. Uh, you can find this on, like, NightmareToys.com. And Trick or Treat Studios, you know, usually when you pre-order pre -order a mask, it, like, 
takes forever to come. But again, they already had these ready, so they shipped right away. And uh, I would recommend buying it in store just so you can pick out your best copy, unless you plan on rehauling it. But uh, I really have nothing else left to say. Uh, Trick or Treat Studios, good job. Obviously, there's improvements that need to be made, but this is a damn good mask, and I am super excited for this movie. So uh, I might put out some more mask-related videos. This is kind of the first real review I've done. But, uh, you know, like I said, pick up this mask. It is pretty fucking cool.